The use of cryptocurrencies continues to grow worldwide, and with the rapid rise of Bitcoin Cash among merchants and patrons alike in St. Kitts and Nevis, the Federation is slowly becoming a crypto-centric nation. But the advocates of Bitcoin Cash still yearn for the acceptance of cryptocurrency by major establishments and the authorities, namely the government and the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB. The central bank has launched its own digital currency, Dcash, which has been in use since 2020 as a pilot project. The ECCB has also been very wary of cryptocurrencies, which are usually unregulated. Roger Ver, founder of Bitcoins.com and one of Bitcoin Cash's major proponents, is hoping the authorities would be more sympathetic to the use of cryptocurrencies as a viable payment option in the country. There are people who are using cryptocurrencies, but they still want to have access to fiat. As it stands right now in St. Kitts and in probably some parts of the Eastern Caribbean as well, uh, it is not as easy to convert Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin, or any cryptocurrency for that matter into fiat currency. Um, what facilities or how, how is that being developed to make that process a bit easier? Yeah, the only reason that those that process isn't even easier already are some governmental licensing issues. So we've applied for the licensing to be able to do that, which is effectively their permission from the government to do that. And as soon as we have their permission and blessing to do that, we'll uh, roll that out. So it'll be super easy for anyone to convert their EC to and from Bitcoin Cash in the island as well. I think that will involve getting, getting back some ATM machines as well. Yeah, I, I actually uh, have an email open in that I need to reply to to order some more, but I'm waiting on getting the permission to do it. They're not cheap. They're uh, 16,000 euros each. Uh, so I was going to order some of those, but I want to make sure that I have permission to actually uh, run and operate them before I spend that much money on some additional ATM machines. In 2018, Mr. Vare was instrumental in having Bitcoin ATM machines brought into St. Kitts and Nevis for persons to use to convert their cryptocurrencies into fiat cash. However, that was soon halted after the central bank issued an advisory against using Bitcoin ATM machines. The machines were then sent to Antigua and Barbuda that has been more receptive to the use of cryptocurrencies and have allowed the use of the Bitcoin ATM machines. You know, I, I'm not here to rock the boat in St. Kitts in any way whatsoever. I'm so grateful to be a petition. I only want to do things that the rest of the petitions want to have happen in St. Kitts. So in regards to those ATM machines that we launched a number of years ago in St. Kitts, they were online for a couple of hours. And, and after, you know, we, we told them what we were going to do in advance and they didn't reply. And so we assumed it was fine. And then uh, anyhow, uh, they got shipped over to Antigua and they've been up and running in Antigua for years now. And people all over Antigua get to benefit from those uh, ATM machines today. Uh, my heart would have liked for them to have been in St. Kitts, but they're up and running in Antigua right now today. And uh, if we get the correct permissions in place, uh, I'd love to do them again at some point uh, in St. Kitts and I'll order some more and that'll make it even easier for people in, in St. Kitts to be able to use Bitcoin Cash. So it would be a case of the government here basically saying, you know, yes, you can use them because, I mean, Antigua is still governed by the same central bank. So I'm assuming the government there was OK with it, whether or not the central bank was OK with it. Yeah, it, it seems to be a local government issue thing, but I'm, I'm not an attorney and I, I'm not looking for any sort of legal trouble whatsoever. So uh, but uh, I, I am looking for tools that make people's lives better. And Bitcoin Cash is definitely one of them, especially when people hear that they can save 15 percent off every purchase from Amazon. The full interview of Mr. Vera can be found on the SK Newsline Facebook page. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.